Avro car symbolizes the culmination of the second stage of an... Have you ever wondered about those brilliant inventions that never made it to the spotlight? Or the genius minds behind them who just disappeared from the public eye? Today, we're uncovering the hidden stories of eight inventors whose groundbreaking ideas were, for some reason, pushed into the shadows. These are tales of innovation that could have reshaped our world, yet they mysteriously vanished, buried under layers of history and power struggles. It's a journey through the uncharted corridors of history, where invention meets suppression, and the path of progress takes unexpected turns. Let's explore these captivating stories and discover what really happened to these lost inventions and their creators. Number 1. Rife Machine Royal Raymond Rife's journey in the field of bioelectric medicine is as controversial as it is fascinating. An American inventor born in 1888, Rife is most famous for his development of the Rife machine, a device he claimed could obliterate pathogens, including cancer cells, by targeting their resonant frequencies. According to Rife, this machine could emit energy at precise frequencies, resonating with pathogens and destroying them without harming healthy tissue. This concept, revolutionary for its time, proposed a non-invasive and targeted approach to treating illnesses. Reif's curiosity in the medical field led him to design advanced microscopes, which he asserted could visualize viruses, a claim far ahead of his time. He even claimed to have identified a cancer-causing virus, subsequently treating it with his frequency device. By the 1930s, Reif reported astonishing success rates, suggesting that his machine could potentially cure cancer and other diseases. His work quickly caught the attention of both the medical fraternity and the general public. Some regarded Reif's invention as a groundbreaking discovery, while others wrote it off as mere pseudoscience. Despite some early interest and reported successes, the medical establishment eventually discredited Reif's work. Critics cited a lack of substantial scientific evidence and the implausibility of his theories when measured against established physical and biological laws. The skepticism and controversy surrounding his work led to Reif's personal and professional downfall. By the 1950s, a devastating fire destroyed his laboratory, erasing his records and machines. He spent his later years in seclusion, largely forgotten by the world he sought to change until his death in 1971. Reif's story, enveloped in intrigue and debate, remains a poignant reminder of the fine line between revolutionary science and unaccepted theories. Number 2. Anti-Gravity Device Thomas Townsend Brown's journey into the realm of unconventional propulsion systems embarked in the early 20th century as he chased the elusive dream of anti-gravity technology. At the heart of Brown's experiments was the concept of electrogravitics, a notion proposing that intense electric fields might alter gravitational forces on objects. This idea led to the development of the Biefeld-Brown effect, centered around the observation that charged capacitors, especially in a vacuum, exhibited a small but noticeable movement towards the positive pole. Among his many inventions was a gravitator, a saucer-like device that reportedly levitated under high-voltage electric charges. Brown's research tantalized many with the prospect of revolutionizing aerospace, envisioning aircrafts hovering and flying without conventional wings or propellers, powered solely by electricity. Yet, the scientific community largely greeted Brown's assertions with skepticism. Critics argued that what Brown observed was merely ion wind, a known phenomenon where ion transfer between electrodes produces thrust, but not enough to create anti-gravity flight. Despite these doubts, Brown persevered, conducting research in relative secrecy, backed by private investors and, reportedly, military interests. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, he aimed to perfect his technology, though he never publicly demonstrated a fully functional anti-gravity device. After Brown's death, his experiments on electrogravitics veered into the realm of legend, fueling conspiracy theories and tales of government cover-ups. His work remains a tantalizing footnote in the history of science, often referenced in discussions about alternative propulsion systems and serving as inspiration in the world of science fiction. Anti-gravity, as postulated by Brown, continues to captivate the imagination of many, blurring the lines between scientific possibility and the fantasies of tomorrow. Number 3. The Ogle Carburetor In the 1970s, Tom Ogle, a self-taught inventor, made headlines with a groundbreaking creation, a carburetor designed to dramatically enhance fuel efficiency. 
Imagine a car that could cover over 100 miles on just one gallon of gas. Ogle's carburetor, a remarkable innovation in an era of fuel crises and skyrocketing gas prices, seemed set to transform the automotive landscape. His unique system bypassed traditional carburetors and fuel pumps, instead using vacuum lines to draw vapor straight from the fuel tank. This simple yet ingenious design promised not only exceptional mileage, but also significantly lower emissions. Tom Ogle's journey, however, took a dramatic turn. After patenting his invention and attracting significant media and investor interest, he faced a pivotal decision. Ogle was offered a staggering $125 million for his patent, but declined, driven by a vision to make his fuel-saving technology accessible to everyone. Tragically, Ogle's dream was cut short. He died unexpectedly at just 24 years old, under circumstances that sparked controversy and suspicion. Officially reported as an overdose, some close to him suspected foul play, considering the huge financial interests his invention threatened. Tom Ogle's story remains a blend of innovation, mystery, and untapped potential, leaving many to wonder what might have been if his revolutionary idea had come to fruition. Number 4. The Water-Powered Car Stanley Meyer, an inventor who tread the fine line between brilliance and skepticism, made waves with a claim that seemed straight out of science fiction, a car that could run on water. Envision a world where vehicles no longer depend on gasoline, but use the most abundant resource on Earth, water. This idea not only promised a greener future, but also offered relief from the economic strains of fuel costs. Meyer's brainchild, the water fuel cell, was designed to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The car's engine would then combust these elements, emitting nothing more than water vapor, a stark contrast to the polluting exhausts of conventional vehicles. His claims, however, stirred controversy. Critics pointed out that such a system would contravene established scientific laws, particularly the law of conservation of energy. Undaunted by skepticism, Meyer showcased his technology in a striking manner. He converted a dune buggy to run on his water fuel cell and presented it as proof of his concept's viability. In a world grappling with soaring oil prices and escalating environmental threats, Meyer's invention was perceived as a ray of hope. His patented technology centered around a water splitter. This device, powered by electricity, would theoretically break down water molecules, while electrolysis, the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity, is a known concept. Meyer claimed his method achieved this with unprecedented efficiency. If Meyer's assertions were true, his invention would have been a monumental leap in technology, reshaping our understanding of energy use and offering a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. Stanley Meyer's story, interwoven with ambition and mystery, remains a fascinating chapter in the history of alternative energy. Number 5. The Avracar. The Avracar, engineered by John Frost of Avro Canada in the 1950s, represented a daring exploration into the world of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. This period, dominated by the tensions of the Cold War, saw the birth of a concept that merged the fantastical with the practical, a flying, saucer-shaped vehicle. Constructed in Malton, Ontario by Avro Aircraft Limited, the Avro car was more than just an aircraft. It symbolized the peak of innovation in aeronautics. Its goal was ambitious, to serve in the U.S. military, embodying Frost's vision of combining the agility of a helicopter with the velocity of a jet. The Avracar operated on a unique principle, using a turbine engine to create a cushion of air, known as the ground effect. This air was drawn in from the top and expelled below, which theoretically would generate both lift and thrust. The original blueprint envisioned a craft boasting high speeds and altitudes, but the Avracar faced reality checks during its development. Plagued by stability and control issues, it struggled to reach more than a nominal altitude. Despite considerable investment and numerous trials, the Avracar couldn't surmount its design challenges, leading to the project's eventual discontinuation. What remained were prototypes turned museum exhibits and the dissolution of the dream of a military-grade flying saucer. Nonetheless, the Avracar story wasn't just one of failure. It played a crucial role in advancing VTOL technology understanding and remains a significant chapter in experimental aircraft history. The Avracar's tale is a testament to the ambitious spirit of aviation exploration, where even unfulfilled dreams contribute to the broader narrative of progress. Number 6. Cloudbuster Wilhelm Reich, 
a figure at once enigmatic and controversial, pushed the boundaries of psychoanalysis and ventured into uncharted scientific territories. In the 1950s, he introduced the world to the Cloudbuster, a device that appeared more suited to the realm of science fiction than scientific research. His Cloudbuster, an assembly of hollow tubes linked to cables submerged in water, was aimed at manipulating what Reich termed orgone energy, an alleged life force he believed influenced both human health and weather patterns. Reich's journey into the exploration of orgone energy marked a significant departure from his earlier association with Sigmund Freud. He asserted that this energy was a tangible embodiment of the libido, omnipresent and potentially harnessable for diverse applications, ranging from treating diseases like cancer to modifying weather conditions. The Cloudbuster represented his efforts to put these ideas into practice, targeting the Earth's atmosphere directly. While the scientific community largely met his claims with skepticism, Reich carried out various experiments, purporting to successfully induce rain in drought-stricken areas. These claims caught the attention of farmers and some government figures. However, they also brought the scrutiny of the Food and Drug Administration, which had harbored doubts about his orgone energy theory. The FDA's investigation led to a court order for the destruction of Reich's publications and equipment associated with orgone energy. Reich's defiance of this order resulted in a two-year prison sentence for contempt of court. Tragically, Reich passed away in jail, and his cloudbuster, along with his other works, faded into obscurity, largely dismissed by the scientific establishment as mere pseudo-scientific speculation. Number 7. The Dynosphere the Dynosphere, an exceptional mono-wheel vehicle, sprang from the inventive mind of Dr. J.D.H. Purvez, influenced by his son J.S. Freeman's ideas about dynamic stability. This novel transportation method, created in the 1930s, featured the driver inside a massive wheel and promised to redefine personal travel. The Dynosphere, running on a petrol engine, was designed for both beach and road use, presenting a blend of futuristic appeal and quirkiness. Purvis' vision was straightforward yet thrilling, a vehicle that could achieve speeds of up to 30 miles per hour with gyroscopic properties ensuring stability. Despite its potential, the Dynosphere faced significant practical challenges. Its control was tricky, and it had a tendency to tip over while making turns. Undeterred, Purvis and Freeman worked on refining the design, creating versions for both solo and duo riders. The Dynosphere's public demonstrations turned heads, capturing widespread media attention and drawing crowds fascinated by this peculiar wheeled marvel. However, despite its intrigue and media spotlight, the Dynosphere stumbled on the path to commercial viability. Its design flaws proved too great a hurdle, and it didn't manage to garner the necessary commercial interest. Eventually, the Dynosphere found itself on the fringes of automotive innovation, its legacy more tied to its unique design than its practicality. This one-of-a-kind vehicle remains a testament to the era's creativity and ambition, reminding us of the bold, albeit not always practical, ideas that once aimed to transform personal transportation. Number 8. Cure for Cancer The search for a cancer cure has always been a journey filled with both dedicated scientific research and numerous controversial claims. Throughout history, Various figures, ranging from medical experts to alternative health advocates, have proclaimed to possess the ultimate cure for this formidable ailment. In the 1920s, a noteworthy individual named Harry Hoxie, a former coal miner, introduced what became known as the Hoxie therapy. This treatment, reportedly passed down from his great-grandfather, consisted of a topical salve and an oral herbal tonic. Despite lacking scientific endorsement, Hoxie's therapy gained massive popularity leading to the establishment of clinics across the United States. However, his methods faced strong opposition from the medical community, resulting in legal confrontations and the eventual shutdown of his clinics. Another intriguing figure in this quest was Gaston Nysens, a French-born researcher. In the 1960s, Nysens developed a substance he called 714X, asserting that it was capable of boosting the immune system's fight against cancer. Derived from camphor, this compound was met with skepticism from the scientific community. Nason's journey was marred by controversy, including accusations of illegal medical practices. These individuals represent just a few of the many who have claimed to find a cure for cancer. Their stories highlight the ongoing struggle between groundbreaking ideas and the rigorous demands of scientific validation, illustrating the complex landscape of medical discovery 
and the enduring challenge of curing one of humanity's most persistent adversaries.